Go ahead and we can already yeah, turn that power off. I need to change this real quick. All right, so I had you connect your light to the power strip so that way when the light's off, you know it, that your power strip's cut off. There you go. Now it's going on there. You had it going, all right, don't squeeze it too tight. Be careful, watch the wood too. All right, what's going on? Unclamp it real quick. There you go. Put it on there like that. So that way, it's kind of in the front, you know. All right, now take his hose and grab it. And then carry it in. Be careful, because you don't really want to rip your, your tube out. So go ahead and run that to the bathtub and suck on it and start to drain. Yeah, just find your little... In. Huh? Tangled up. Yeah, that's how theirs was too. Yeah, you're good. Suck on the end and get your sniffing going a little bit. There it goes. Just make sure you put, pull some of it in there. There you go, make sure it don't come out. All right, so while it drains, sometimes I just come and I clean the glass up or do whatever I need to do, you know, cut the plants up or whatever crap you need to do. But then you just wait for it to drain. We'll probably just drain it down like down to here, just a little partial one. But as of now, you just let it drain and just wait. Well, pick that end up. Take this in like out the water. And then let it stop your siphon. And then just leave it. You ain't even got to do none of that. Oh, look, see, you done ripped your thing off. That's why I said just leave it. And then go to the bathtub. Take this with you. So that way you don't have to take this in and move it back and forth. <laughs> Sometimes I take it out and drain all the old water out, but really the water's pipe. You want to plug that into your pump. No, you're good. Go ahead and get it ready. And then you know where your extension cord's at. Gonna need that. <laughs> Once you get it down, though, it'll be so easy. You'll just have it down. It won't take you 20 minutes to do one every few weeks or whatever, and then I'll just keep up with the food and pay for, buy all the scrap for it and stuff. You know. So before you plug that in. Start filling your bucket up a little bit. Make sure your water's... Before you always drain, too, I forgot to tell you. Always make sure your water's on because they were doing work on the, the <coughs> pipe. And I went to drain my tank and the water wasn't on. Oh, yeah. But you kind of want to get get a temperature match to the tank. So, like, come over here first. Back in here. Come in here, Craig. So what I want you to do is yeah, take your hand and feel it and get a good feel for about how cold slash warm it is. Yeah, that's about good. So then I always tell, I told her the same thing. I usually don't do it, but let it fill up over the pump. You know what I mean? Yeah. Always make sure your ends plug, like, always make sure your ends in the tank, yeah, before you plug it up. Now that's in, you can go ahead and plug up your pump. Yep. All right. Now it's filling up. 
Sometimes I keep my hand over here because you don't really, it's going to blow all that sand away, you know, like it always does. It's going to get it real murky. But always, as it's filling up, get your prime and then shake it up. Shake your prime up. And then, being this is only a 25 gallon, I count one cap full of prime as 50 gallon. So you can just do a half a cap of that. Most people just do like dose how much water they change. I just do the whole tank volume. That's good. A little bit more, a little bit less. You can't really overdose that unless you do like the whole bottle, you know what I mean? So now that you did that, you want to put this over here or out the way so you know you already did it. And then just let it fill up. Be careful of the sticks. But then just let it fill up. And then check the temperature every like few minutes. Make sure it's not getting too super ice cold or boiling hot. Because you want it about where it's just warm. You don't want it hot. When it's too hot for you, it's going to be too hot for them. And our blood runs at what, like 98 degrees or something? And then this tank's like 70 something. So you're always going to want it a little bit colder. I always tell them a little bit colder is better than too hot because I feel like your heaters can heat it up. Yeah, you can't really cool it down unless you put cold water in there or ice cubes or something silly. And then you got your prime in there. We might start doing some fertilizers too. I see people use like uh, Easy Green or whatever from an aquarium call-out place. You just do a few pumps. And then it just makes your plants up and stuff. Yeah, once you get it full, and then I'll show you how to shut it down. The most important part, like I was telling her, is the temperature in your pile. As long as it's not too hot or too cold, and then check it every few minutes, you know? And then you'll be able to tell if it's too hot or too cold. But yeah, it's still pretty good sometimes yeah, I usually just check the end that comes out the tube <clears throat> but then if you feel it gets hot then you can go in there and just adjust it in the bathtub or whatever but it's way easier than doing 10 buckets <coughs> the slow the slowest part is waiting for it to fill up and drain all right, so look, this has got a water line right here. You can see it right there. So once it gets past that water line, I'm going to take this filter away from you anyways. But once it gets filled up to about here, so you can go ahead and kick that back on your power strip. So that way you don't forget. <coughs> Come on, Craig, chop, chop. Pretty much right now. Yeah, right now. Okay, then that thing's gonna kick back on. The light kick back on. We might just have to hit it like that. And then look, if this ever runs dry, you can just take this hose off. Just All right, here, I'm gonna plug that pump. Unplug the pump, yep. All right, the pump's unplugged. I go ahead and take this off. All right, now run in there and turn the water off real quick too. My fault. I just didn't want that to keep filling up. Yeah. So you can take that off. And set that to the side or put it in your pocket or something. And then yeah, just start wrapping that shit up. I'll help you, cause I know how it is. But I ain't always gonna be here. This is the whole purpose of this video, and then I can post it and y'all can go back and watch y'all's videos. And then be like, oh, this is what we did, we did this. <laughs> Wrap it around your arm. Here, look, let me show you. Let me show you how to do it. You got it? Look, it's already wrapping itself up most of the way. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do with that. Yeah, it's a super long mess. 
We might have to trim y'all's hoses up shortly. Just so it ain't such a tangled mess. Cause I've had my tube for so long. It just holds shape. Uh oh. So far done. It starts to form that good too. What we know is be careful because it might come out a little water. Noise, come around and push this big button down. What I do is I use my elbow kind of to push down because it's real hard. And then what that does is going to prime all the air out and stuff's going to come out of here. Out of your output maybe a little bit. Do you hear it's doing its job and searching around? That means it's priming all the air out, so that's all right. Where's your bucket at? Who <laughs> we're so we're done already. Give the phone to Craig and everything gets flipped turned sideways, but don't forget your prime and to turn your power strips back on. And that's it, really. We ended the video and put everything back in our bucket, and that was it.